Good day. I'm Mike Alexich. I'm with Canamax USA. Today we are announcing the introduction of our DALT 6900, the duct air leakage tester. Everything based off this machine is based off of the SMACNA guidelines. And uh, so we'll quickly go through and do a quick demonstration on this. First thing what we're going to do is drill a hole. 3 8 We'll put a static probe up into the duct to seal it up with some duct tape so that we don't get too much leakage around there. And then what we do, we go to the screen and we begin to, we're going to be using a flow grid. This is all the questions. We're going to use the SMACNA US standard that I just showed. This duct is class 2 that we're going to be uh, testing. There's 30 square feet of surface area. We've calculated that already in our duct. And we're going to do a six second time test uh, just to so we can see a, a, a good uh, timeline. We're now going to, as you'll watch the duct, we're going to build up the static pressure inside the duct up to about six inches. It'll go up to 10 at 424 CFM. So we're at 6.1 inches in the duct right now. So now we're going to hit next. And now we basically are going to begin the test. The test that we're allowed to leak is our limit is 6.588. We're leaking on this duct at 3.172. This gives us a pass, uh, a pass thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to, and we'll show the data later at the end of this video of what the data looks like. We're going to press save. And now we're going to run another test on the same same parameters, but we're going to create a leak. So we'll open up this glass gate that we have, and we're going to run the, the same test. Now that we just did six seconds, here it goes again. And if we watch, we're allowed to leak 6.58. We're leaking 9.6, so we got to fail. So at this time, we're going to save it, and I'm going to stop the, uh, the VFD, variable frequency drive. And what we'll do now is we can hit back one screen and we will go to the USB screen and you put your USB in and transmit it right to your USB stick. So now all the data as a field technician I can take it back to my engineer. One of the uh, things that was a positive test, one of the things that differentiator with our unit as well as we can actually go negative now. So if we're going to do a A test in some clean rooms that we need to make sure that aren't leaking, very, very solid. So same idea, we're just going to hit the touch screen here. We're going to go to the flow grid, again, SMACNA standards. We're going to go same class, two, same surface area that we had. Everything is pre-saved, so if you're, if you're doing a lot of tests in, in a short period of time, everything is defaults to the last time that you did it. So we're going to now adjust the, the static. And as you can see now, we're bringing it the other way. This will go to negative 10 as well. So it's positive 10, 10 to a negative 10 that it will go in, in water pressure. So we're going to bring it to about 5. I don't want to bring everything in. One of the things that our hose and why it's so strong is that if you use a regular dryer hose like some of our competitors do, they will collapse. Ours won't. So then we've got that set up in there. Now we hit next. We're going to do a, a negative test. And we've got, we're going to do the same 6 seconds. And we've begun the test. We're allowed to, our limit of leakage is going to be 6. We're only leaking 1 
We just got a pass. We're going to press save on that because my engineer wants that data. Now we're going to move to another section, and this section here isn't giving us the same static. We're not getting the same as you can hear the BFD is picked up. We're going to run the test. And I can tell right now we're probably not going to be, we've got a serious leak in the negative. And it's eight, we're only allowed six, and we've got to fail. So we're basically, we're going to do the same thing. We'll stop the motor. I'm going, I saved. I'm going to hit back. And now the same thing I did prior to this is I'm going to hit the USB touch screen and put this in and my data for my engineer is now ready for them to transmit. Again, we'll put both these at the end to what the format of this thing looks. Thank you very much for watching our video today.